Hello, my name is Paul Stryer, a Solutions Readiness Engineer with Cisco Systems. Welcome to this short video on Cisco Expressway Virtual Machine Deployment. Cisco Expressway is designed specifically for comprehensive collaboration services provided through Cisco Unified Communications Manager, Cisco Business Edition, or Cisco Hosted Collaboration Solutions. It features established firewall traversal technology and helps redefine traditional enterprise collaboration boundaries supporting Cisco's vision of any-to-any -any collaboration. As its primary features and benefits, Cisco Expressway offers proven and highly secure firewall traversal technology to extend our organizational reach, helps to establish business-to-business -business and business-to-consumer collaboration, provides session-based access to comprehensive collaboration for remote and mobile workers without the need of, for a separate VPN client, supports a wide range of devices with Cisco Jabber for smartphones, tablets, and desktops, complements bring your own device strategy and policies for remote and mobile workers. This short video will show how to deploy a Cisco Expressway from OVA to VM. In future videos in this series, we will explore how to configure and operate the Cisco Expressway server in a collaboration edge and a Jabber guest configuration. Let's begin. As seen here, all of our hosts with ESXi and vCenter have been installed and configured. The Expressway 8.1.1 software has been downloaded to our local machine. The system is fully prepared to deploy the Expressway virtual machine. First, click File, Deploy OVA Template. Click Browse and select your OVA software. Click the Open button and then click the Next button. Verify the information on the OVA template details page and click Next. Be sure to read the entire end user's license agreement. Click Accept and then Next. Enter an acceptable name for your virtual machine. The name is only a name of the virtual machine and is not tied to the host name of this server. For ease of use, I sometimes use the host name as my virtual machine name. Enter the name and click Next. On the Deployment Configuration page, you select the size of deployment you wish to deploy. Notice as I switch between the small, medium, and large, you will notice that the CPU and memory sizes change as well. Please consult the deployment guide to decide which one fits your deployment best. Once you select, click Next. In this particular installation, we must select the cluster in which we want the virtual machine deployed. Once you select it, click Next. Select the appropriate resource pool or virtual app and click Next. Select the appropriate data store and click Next. Select the appropriate disk format and click Next. Select the appropriate virtual VLAN and click Next. On the Network Properties page, select Enable IPv4 or v6. If you don't, the system will use DHCP to collect an IP address. Enter the appropriate IP address for your network and click Next. Confirm all entries are correct and click Next. Click Close when the VM is finished deploying. Expressway is deployed in pairs, 1E which is deployed in the DMZ and 1C that is deployed in the internal network. The deployment is exactly the same for both C and E expressways, so we will only show one deployment in this video. If you want to provide redundancy for your expressways, you would deploy four virtual machines from the same OVA software. Two E's and two C virtual machines will need to be deployed for redundancy. The expressways, although installed from the same OVA, will change roles from C to E while configuring the option keys into the devices. In future videos in this series on Cisco Expressway, we will explore the post-deployment configuration of the expressways. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, thank you for using Cisco Systems.